Hello everyone, I'm Jedi Lin. Have you ever thinking about making a portable device using Raspberry Pi Zero, but have no ideas about how to power it or how to make a beautiful case for it? Today, I'm going to show you Pi Sugar. I will talk about what we have been thinking and how we can solve these problems with this little guy. Pi Sugar is a battery designed for Raspberry Pi Zero including 0, 0, W, 0, WH. It means that it's compatible with all 0 series, whether it has GPIO headers or not. There are several ways to power a Pi Zero. You can power it through a USB cable or through a GPIO header, but they are taking too much space. We came out with a new idea when we saw this USB key designed for Pi Zero. Since it can connect four pins of USB, we can use two of them to supply power, as a USB cable does. In this way, we can save a lot of space and make it very easy to install without soldering. Not everyone knows how to solder. There are many software engineers, they don't know how to solder, but they still like playing with Raspberry Pi. So actually, we are making things much friendly for them to use. Generally, lithium battery have 3.7 voltage output. If you solder a lithium battery directly to the Pi, it will be working, but not fully functional. Therefore, it is necessary to have a power management chip on Pi Sugar. Pi Sugar can supply 5 voltage and stable current. Charging is also managed by the chip T. Also, there is a switch allowing us to turn on and off the power by one tap and double taps. We spend a lot of time finding suitable batteries. The batteries should have sufficient power and output current, similar dimensions as Pi Zero, and also not being too fat. Finally, we selected two types of battery, which will not go beyond the dimension of Pi Zero. They have 4 hours and 6 hours of battery life. After knowing which battery to use, the next problem is how to place it. And if you stick the battery to the board, it will must four screw holes. Also, it is not a very good idea to place the battery on some electric components. So there must be a different way to do this. To solve this problem, we came up with a magnet solution. Paste an iron sheet on the battery, and you will be attracted to the circuit board by the magnet. In this way, the battery has a certain distance to the board, which is good for heat radiation. Also, if you like to install or remove Pi Sugar, you can easily move the battery aside. One more thing, if you have a magnet, you can put your Pi Zero anywhere. We have mailed some samples to our friends for trial and feedback, and many of them was asking whether there is a case for Pi Zero and Pi Sugar. Then we realized that they are actually making real products, not just some circuit boards. With a Pi Zero, a Pi Sugar battery, and a custom case, they can build devices with their software for different scenarios. Therefore, we have designed basic cases for Pi Zero and Pi Sugar. As we are considering more, we also designed different caps so that you can put your Pi hats inside the case. In short, we can help the speakers to create their own products, like building Lego bricks. All of this will make your creations more like a complete product. The model files are open source, so that you can build your own case based on the previous works. Since our goal is helping more people start creating, we will continuously upgrade the product, making it more convenient for developers. We hope that one day you can travel around with your Raspberry Pi without worrying about its battery because it's powered by Pi Sugar.